In this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about relays. Now, what is a relay? Well, the simplest term for a relay is that it's basically a switch that you can control from a remote location. And it's usually used to turn on or off devices or to switch between two or more devices, depending on how the relay is set up. And the most common place that you actually see a relay is in your car, usually in the engine compartment, probably in the fuse box. The relays are usually used for turning things on and off like your headlights or activating your horn or activating your air conditioner's fan motor or the compressor motor that gives you the air conditioning, things like that. And so what I have here is a circuit set up using a relay using the snap circuit system. And there's a couple of points on how a relay is set up. The first thing is this is our relay unit that we've got right here. The relay has a point, a positive and negative connection right here across it. And this is what activates the relay, whether you want to turn a device on or off or switch between them. And then you have the other terminal points that connect the devices through the relay so that they can be turned on or off. This relay is set up to switch between two different loads. And the way it is is, of course, I've already pointed out that this button here across the terminals activates the relay. Now, when this circuit is on, normally when I turn on the switch, current will flow through here, and it will flow through this 6-volt lamp because I've got two 3-volt voltage sources in series, so I've got 6 volts. So the current will flow through the lamp, flow through the relay, and then back. And it, the way the relay is set up, there's normally a closed point, a closed circuit, which is this part right here that the lamp is on, as can be indicated by that diagram. That's how a relay is set up. Now this part here that doesn't show that, this indicates that part of the circuit is normally open. When I activate the relay, this lamp will go out because this will become open and this will become closed turning on the motor. So let's see in action how this relay works. So I turn on the switch and current is flowing through the circuit and the six volt lamp is on because that's what's normally closed when the relay is not energized. We call it energized because this is an electromagnet in here that moves this plate up to the other terminal. That's what closes the circuit. So it disconnects this and connects that. So right now, it's not energized and the lamp is on because it's in the normally closed state. Now I press this button, the lamp goes out and the motor comes on. Now we've opened the circuit here where the lamp is and closed the circuit with the motor. So we've changed over the loads. We're no longer powering a lamp, we're now powering a, a motor and fan. Now if I release the button, the relay goes back into its normal unenergized state. The motor turns off and the lamp turns back on. And I might be able to zoom in enough to show the relay working. I don't know if I can uh, get the camera in focus here or not. I don't think the camera wants to get in focus. I might be able to show it even if it is a little out of focus. But when I click the button, you might just be able to see the plate in there moving. And again, that's what's changing between the bottom terminal where the lamp is and the top terminal where the fan is. And again, that's simply how a relay works. It's just basically a remote operated switch to turn on and off loads, or in this case, to switch between them. And turn off the circuit. And of course, when there's no power going through the circuit, the relay can no longer become energized. So again, this is just a little video talking about relays.